Hi guys, Latecom here, and we are back with yet another episode of the Road to 100 Million Flux Farming series on the channel. And in today's video, we are going to be starting on Dragon Day. And yes, I have not really been farming over the past two days because I got kind of bored playing the game. As you can see, we have got 13 million flux and I have been collecting my listings in the market over the past two days, but not really logging on and playing the game, farming and whatnot. Now I'm still not going to be using my Patreon because I'm only going to be using my Patreon starting on XP day, in which will be tomorrow. So the first thing that we're going to do is check what we have in our inventory right here. As you can see, we have got 148 dragon coins as well as 2,300 cubits. So I'm just going to go on ahead and buy a couple more dragon coins right here because that is pretty much the only efficient way that we can get additional flux from getting dragon coins and you'll see that in a minute. Okay, now that we're done with the dragon coin challenges, let's take a look. We are actually pretty close to finishing up the Kamaba and we did end up getting 25 dragon coins which puts us at a total of 207 dragon coins. Now, I'm gonna head on over into Luxian as you can see right here in which he is going to be selling quite a number of interesting things. Now we've got the Ski Stalkers, we've got the Q-Rex, Angry Poop, Fey Tombs Terraformer. Honestly, this Luxian is going to be pretty garbage in terms of what we have to flip. And they're going to be costing around 3 million flux. So let's just go on ahead and buy one of them as we are going to be listing them at 3 million, probably 2.8. 9 or 2.8 million and hopefully it sells okay so just a little bit of an update for you guys it is currently six hours away from actual daily reset and to be honest i have not really farmed much dragon coins since then because i've only been logging on every few hours so honestly today was pretty much a big fail but we ended up managing to sell our skay stalker wings i did manage to buy one pair of wings at 1.5 million flux which kind of allowed me to make a little bit more flux. But as you can see, as we claim these items, we will be sitting at 15 million flux. And honestly, I think I'm not going to continue on farming today. As you can see, we have not really farmed anything at all in today's episode. So I'm just going to be waiting for the next daily reset and focusing all of my energy into farming as much flux as we can on XP day. So I will get back to you guys in a few hours. So yeah, we're currently in a ship right now. And as you can see, we have got 805 XP gain with our XP potion. And we are gaining, safe to say, 27,000 XP per dungeon completed. And for every boss that is done, we actually do get like 108k. So that's going to be a ton of XP that we're gaining. And as you can see, we are just breezing through the XP bar as we complete all of these dungeons. So I will get back to you guys in a couple of hours of AFKing slash farming, and we'll see how much pinatas we will end up making and how much flux we can get from all of this farming. Okay, so uh, quite a number of hours have passed. As you can see with the slash played right here, it's 18 days, three hours and 43 minutes. So it has been around like six or so hours since we last kind of checked in. And as you can see, we are doing Honestly, to my standards, really poorly. As you can see from the 10 piñatas that we've obtained right here, I have not been getting lucky at all in today's farm because this means that I have gotten 2 piñatas for the past 5 levels. Just for some perspective, you can either get 2 or 7. So to actually get 5 times of 2 piñatas with Patreon Pass, that's pretty much the least amount of piñatas that you can actually get per Paragon level. Yeah, it does worry me a lot. But in the process, we did end up getting a giant red panda mount from opening up these adventure boxes. And we also did get a total of around 53 piñatas in total and one paragon's mark that we were lucky enough to drop. But with that being said, we're just going to go on ahead and claim all of these items and see where that will put us. I think that will be really close to 20 million flux. And that's going to put us at 20 million flux which amassed us a net amount of 5 million flux in those hours farmed, which was honestly not really productive at all. But what we managed to do was we managed to get our classes to at least level 13, um, the Ice Age level 14, 
the Knight is at level 7 and the Boomeranger is at level 13. And I did manage to level up my Tomb Razor to now at level 3. Okay, now that we're in the club, what I'm going to do is first off, we're just going to swap on over to, I'd say, the Solarian. Let's just go on ahead and open it up on the Solarian once again, even though I knew that last time they didn't really sell that well. But this time, I'm going to be aiming for those Crystal 2 and Crystal 3 ring boxes in which will be really sought for. And I hope that there isn't going to be too much competitivity in the market. So I guess first off, I'm going to go with the not so popular classes like the Tomb Razor and the Knight one. We're just going to craft one box. I'm going to open it. I'm going to get a Crystal 1 ring. So we're going to open up another box and hope that we get a Crystal 2 ring. Yep, we did get a Crystal 2 ring in which we will end up looting both of these rings. As you can see, a Crystal 2 ring does grant us five of these um, right here, ring crafter tickets. And once we loot this at five ring crafter tickets, we can actually craft one of these Crystal 2 boxes in which we're going to go on ahead and craft the Solarian box in which we're going to get a Royal Signatory box that I will sell on the market for 350k. That is going to be really tough. So we're going to go 345k. So I'm going to craft some Paragon's cubes right here. As you can see, it does take and we can craft three of them weekly as we will be able to craft a bard signatory box in which will be a crystal two box so we're just gonna go on ahead and um, leave it or list it wow the royal signatory box is going to cost 900k but don't be fooled i don't think players are ever going to buy this at that crazy of a price so I think I'm just going to go on ahead and remove this Ice Age box right here and try my best to go for the 400k and hopefully someone ends up buying it. But that is probably going to be it for now. I'm going to head on over to bed. It is getting pretty late for me right now and I will log on in a couple of hours and we will see how it goes. And after that, I'm going to continue on farming for a couple more hours until the reset and we'll see how much flux we've made from today itself. Okay, just kind of got up and uh, as you can see, we did manage to sell a couple of these boxes, but not all of them. Sadly, we did not manage to sell the Ice Age boxes for some reason. But anyways, that puts us at 22 million flux with around another 2.5 million in the market. So I'd say in those few hours of farming, we did manage to get around 10 million flux. And let's just continue on farming for the rest of the day and hopefully we will be able to make even more flux in the next couple of hours. Okay, so as you can see right here, it is going to currently be loot day and however, I will still be able to maintain my experience gain buff because this will only wear off when I swap onto a different world or if I disconnect from the game. In which is definitely not what I'm going to be doing because I really want to utilize this buff as much as possible. So we're just going to be sitting around and camping in this world for the next 30 minutes or until this ship actually finishes. But so far as you can see, we have got quite a number of items sold. Not to mention I still have got 32 Primal Paragon Pinatas, some Paragon Cubes as well as around like 25 or so primal loops right here. Okay, so as we're going to claim all of the pinatas right there, as you can see, we are going to be sitting really close to 30 million flux. So with that out of the way, as you can see right here, we did manage to get another 14 primal paragon pinatas in which I will split them into seven each. So I guess that will mark the end of our XP day escapade as we're going to head on over into the hub and lose our XP day bonus as you will see a significant drop in our experience gain as a result of changing worlds the first time after the daily reset has happened. Also, I just wanted to mention the fact that I have actually just hit 350 total mastery. And that happened all because I upgraded a couple of my classes to level 30. As you can see, I did get my Tomb Razor and my Dracolite, as well as my Gunslinger to level 30. Now, as we head on over into the ring crafting bench, as you can see right here, what I'm gonna actually do this time is I'm gonna gamble even more. Okay, there we go. We did get a Gilded Signatory Bard box in which we will no doubt sell. And for some reason, there's only going to be one in the marketplace. So we're just going to go on ahead and list this at 1.5 million flux and continue on opening more boxes. So with that being said, that is going to mark the end of episode 3 of the Road to 100 million flux series. 
As you can see, we did manage to farm around 16 million flux just during XP day alone. With all of these items that we're selling in the market right here, I would evaluate it to be at around 37 to 38 million flux. And that will put us at almost halfway through, but not quite halfway through just yet, in which we're going to try our best to work our way towards the 100 million flux in the next couple of episodes. But until then, thank you guys so much for tuning in all the way until the end of today's video. Really appreciate each and every one of your support. And I hope my RNG will end up getting better over the next couple of days. But until then, I will see you guys sometime soon. As usual, peace out.